Also this morning, a major break in the murder case of a Maryland mother that has been in the national headlines. Authorities say they have made an arrest. He's expected to be charged in the murder and rape of Rachel Morin. We're also learning the suspect was in this country illegally. News Nation's Stephanie Haynes has been following the story from the very beginning. Good morning, Stephanie. Can you walk us through the details that finally led to an arrest so many months later? Yeah, Hannah, this is really a story of great police work. For 10 months, they stayed diligently on this case. And that first break really came months ago through genetic genealogy. And that's the same method that they used to find the Golden State Killer. And basically, what this DNA hit from the scene in Maryland, from that hiking trail, was a match to this other crime scene in L.A. where there was this alleged home invasion in which a nine-year-old and her mother uh, were attacked. And so that's when they were able to release the photo of her suspected murderer, but they didn't know his name and they didn't know where he was. They just had this image of him. And so they continue to really try to track him down. Investigators went all the way to El Salvador to get information. Eventually, that led them, you know, months later to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and that is where he was arrested on Friday. Uh, and this is Rachel Morin's mother just really praising the excellent work of law enforcement in this case. And it just gave me such hope that they really did care about our family and my daughter, that they were going to work diligently to find the person that murdered her. At one point, um, when things seemed like really bleak and hopeless, the lead detective said to me, he said, patience will win in the end. Yeah, this is just such a sad case because Rachel, of course, we all know she went running or hiking on a trail, a popular trail in Maryland, and never came back. And that's where her body was found. Just a few weeks ago, Henna, was her 38th birthday, what would have been her 38th birthday. And of course, she leaves behind her mother and five children, Henna. Stephanie, we're learning more about the suspect, but have we learned anything more about his motive? That is something investigators are still really trying to figure out. So at this point, as you said, we know he is in the he was in the country illegally, still is on that ICE detainer hold. He crossed the border illegally early in 2023, so about a month before that alleged home invasion in California and a couple months uh, before Rachel's murder. And then also authorities believe that he fled El Salvador because he allegedly murdered a young girl there. And they also believe he has gang ties, so he made he might have been living with associates, you know, across the country. What we can tell you, though, is he's still in Tulsa, but he will be extradited in the coming days to Maryland to formally face those charges. Hannah. All right, Stephanie Haynes, great reporting. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.